to the property. I'm gonna get working on some of the projects. First one on the docket is the hay storage. So let's go take a look. A good little amount of rain over the last couple days. So the uh, project got put on hold, but uh, here it is currently kind of flattened out and packed in. So plan is to use those pallets over there and put the hay storage right here. So these crazy guys can't get to it and those crazy guys can't get to it. So nothing too crazy. Just gonna slap all the pallets together and maybe try and work on a quick little roof structure for it. So let's get started. needed to be about six inches wider to fit the three pallets across the back and then we'll do one or two pallets kind of off the front and a little lean-to roof over here to cover it up weather usually comes from over there and over there so there's kind of be an open front here so I'm gonna grab the shovel and I'm gonna open it up over here a little bit more that way there's enough room for this and then uh, we'll go from there So small area there now it's a little bit wider got it uh setting up and drying out now so i'll finish compacting that here in a second but flash back to another video of the lawnmower didn't film any of it but uh we were in fact able to get the lawnmower running and uh it actually runs pretty good so i need two more pallets from up the hill and uh i'm gonna take the lawnmower Usually runs well, but there we go. The pallet graveyard for different projects, so I think this guy here will get the job done and uh, we'll bring it down to the bottom. Okay, got all the tools I need now, so let's get started for real.
Everyone's been out grazing all day, and I guess it was time to uh, come down and get water. Okay, so getting to about the last of what I can get done today with the materials we have. We got all the sides up and the back. Got a front little truss set up as well here. So, Haley will probably end up painting this green, but you can see here I have to clear a little bit more behind to scoot it all the way back, but uh, shouldn't have to do too much. These projects are always a little bit uh, as we go. Not uh, so planned out, but uh, looking pretty good. Otherwise, I'm happy with the uh, the size. Um, and honestly, we're probably going to end up putting uh, some pallets down in the bottom anyways to uh, keep the hay off the ground. We'll uh, clear out the back a little bit and move it back. And then uh, kind of backfill around the sides. Yeah. A little bit of fill in over here. And then, yeah, I'm going to grab the... Uh, probably the Bock bar there and the shovel. Clear this out. Last step will be moving it back. Looks like about eight inches or so. Maybe ten. So should have planned ahead a little better, but uh didn't think it was gonna be that big, so sure you measure twice before you dig because that wasn't too bad of a spot to do it in but uh it wasn't easy so now we got that extra space move this back get the front edge on and uh we should be good i need some more water though it's hot up Try some of the excavator, see if I can move this thing back as far as I need to. Uh, if it doesn't work, I probably won't show this, but if it works, yeah, I planned it out the whole time. So I'm just gonna clean up the dirt now and then uh, probably call it for the night. We got the uh, pallets down here for the bottom. We'll be able to keep the hay on those, keep them up and dry. And I think we found what we're gonna do on the front is actually put two pallets, probably end up painting them green as well. And uh, this will give us a little door, but kind of keep everything secure. Here we go, first bale of hay in there. So looks like we should be able to do four wide and three high, which is plenty for the goats. They don't need all too much of it. So looks like we'll have some extra storage over there and quite a bit on this side and that side which will be quite nice It's a couple days later now, but we did get the shed all finished up. A little bit of a view from the outside. We are able to do the roof with just this front support going back to the back of the shed and that didn't have to do supports, so it's still pretty sturdy. 
but saved some money on the rafters there. Up front, we did some extra pallets. So we got like a little door here that we're gonna build eventually and uh, keeps everything protected. So as you can see, we got uh, two bales right there, a bale and a half. They'll put one more there and then stack it at least three high, even with some of this stuff being stored in here. Got some tools and equipment as well as the netting. And then uh, some of the dog leashes and things like that over here. But overall, we're happy with the, the product. It's gonna work out for what we need it to do. We're able to even put a little bit of a little rack for the hose on the outside. Uh, eventually, we will mount the solar uh, charger on there for the large paddock. And then Haley's gonna do a little bit of painting. So it looks a little bit nicer for the neighbors. But overall, like I said, we're happy with it and it's gonna serve its purpose. Mm -hmm.